Hello YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the Danger Zombie uh, deck list, and this deck is loosely based off of the um, Crush Cards uh, deck that, yeah, that they made. Um, so I, um, so starting off, they didn't really put Dangers in this, but um, I kind of used their deck as an example and uh, modified it, I guess. Um, so. Uh, starting off, we have two Danger Bigfoot, uh, one Danger Thunderbird, one Danger Nessie, as well as two Mothman, and uh, one Tsukinoko, and one Jackalope. So, uh, Bigfoot, as for Bigfoot and Thunderbird, um, Bigfoot is just, just allows you to, um, it's, so, Thunderbird and Bigfoot are both level 8, so you can go into Dengir Su with it as well as uh, Bowder Rock. Um, and other than that, if it's discarded, you can target a face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. While the, um, and then this card just targets a set card your opponent controls. It is well, it is um, worth mentioning that that actually um, can mean monster as well, so if they have like a set monster, um, then if they're playing like Subterra. Um, so then after that, one, uh, well, okay, Nessie. Nessie is basically um, your. It allows you to search your dangers. This, when it's discarded, it allows you to draw one and then discard one. And these two basically allow you to. Or well, uh, this one allows you to special summon it if it's discarded, and this allows you to special summon a danger monster from your deck. So um, after that, two Bowder Rock, um, two Jackabolin, two Fraulein. Um, two Banshee, three Genzuki, two Mizuki, three Solitaire, and uh, three Yunizami Zombie, and two Glow Boom. Bloom. So, Baldurok is basically like pretty much like one of the best cards in the deck. Um, it just allows you. So, um, if your if your opponent um, when a, when a zombie monster except Powder Rock activates its effect, um, except during the damage step, as a quick effect, you can uh, um, apply one of these effects, but you cannot apply the same effect um, of da Doom King Powder Rock again that turn. Negate the effect or banish a monster from the field or graveyard. Um, so uh, that's really good, um, particularly because of the field spell zombie world. Um, yeah. Uh, during each standby phase, if you or your opponent controls a field spell, you can special summon it from the graveyard. Um, after that, two Jackable, and it just allows you to get to discard your zombie monsters and get them um, into the graveyard. Um, and you can target a um, during your opponent's main phase quick effect. You can target a zombie monster in either graveyard, special summon that uh, monster, but banish it when it leaves the field. Then banish this face-up card until the end phase. You can only use its effect once per turn. Um, so it allows you to, um, especially if Zombie World is out on the on the field, because it makes all um, um, monsters in the graveyard become zombies as well. So that's really good. Um, two Frawling. So I know that. Um, Crush cards put this card at one. Um, however, I would um, put it at two just for the simple fact because um, it's um, if it was to get like banished or something like that, then it would be good to uh, get it. Um, it. It's just a good idea to have a second one in, just in case. So after that, two Necro World Banshee. It's basically just um, your fifth copy of Zombie World. Uh, Gozuki. It allows you to send a zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if it's sent from the if it's sent to the graveyard, you can banish a zombie monster from your graveyard. Except Gozuki. Special summon a zombie monster from your hand. You can only use each effect of Gozuki once per turn. Mizuki allows you to banish it from the graveyard and to target a zombie monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Solitaire allows you to tribute to a zombie monster, special summon a zombie tuner with zero defense from your deck. Um, that's uh, basically uh, what it does um, in, in this deck anyways. So Unizombie is going to be the card that you special summon off of uh, Solitaire. Good 
potentially special summon Glowpool in there as well. But Yunu Zombie is really the best choice because it allows you to discard a card, and if you do, increase uh, target a um, face up monster card on the field by one, and you can target it. Um, a face-up monster on the field. Its second effect allows you to target a face-up monster on the field. Monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of the turn, except mo zombie monsters. Also, send a zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, increase that target's level by one. You can only use um, each effect of zombie in a zombie once per turn. Uh, so it's just a, another way to get uh, Necro World Banshee to the graveyard. After that, two danger, uh, or well, one danger Sukio. Oh, okay, I guess I already went through that. Um, two glow up loom, they just allow you to add level 5 or higher zombie monsters uh, from your deck to your hand. So really just uh, Balderock, uh, Jack of All, and Frawling, and um, actually that's, that, those three are the only real targets for that. Um, yeah, they just allow you to get these any of these cards from your deck to your hand. Um, after that, three alert, most of the cards you're playing in this deck are dark with the exception of a few cards, um, so, yeah, um, extra draw power, one upstart, uh, it's basically like a 39 card deck, um, terraforming allows you to get to zombie world, uh, foolish burial, it also allows you to potentially get into zombie world or into any other of your zombie cards that as needed, um, two super polymerization, it just allows you to, uh, bring out, uh, one of your two fusion monsters, and with Predator Polyant, Verte on Anaconda allows you to, uh, you can use Super Poly from the deck, which is awesome. Uh, and then, of course, three Zombie World, because it just turns all cards on the field and in the graveyards into zombies, which is amazing. So, as for the extra deck, you have two Super Poly targets. You have uh, Drag Drag Dragon ne um, Necro, Nether Soul Dragon. Uh, so, it does, so it's first of, it's basically just a good super poly target, um, but it can be special summoned back from the graveyard, and, um, if at the end of the damage step, if this card battled in a, a monster, that monster's attack becomes zero, and if it does, if that monster is still face up on the field as, it has an original level, special summon a dark soul token zombie, um, type dark level question mark attack, Question mark, zero defense. When summoned its attack and defense its level and attack become equal to the original level and attack of that monster, you can only control one dragon echo another another soul dragon. So it's really just good for super poly, but um, sometimes that effect does come up. One time um, I went against a Lua S Max Chaos Dragon deck and that effect did end up uh, coming up. Starving Venom allows you to um, steal the attack, or will gain attack equal to one of your opponent's special summoned monsters, and uh, you can um, you can gain the effect of a, a monster that your opponent controls. Um, so, Cyframe, uh, Lord Omega, it allows you to um, banish cards from your opponent's hand and uh, return banished cards to the graveyard. Uh, Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon. This card just allows you to. Um, it, it's basically just like a beat stick. Um, Dingy or Stew. Pretty sure everybody knows what that does. But basically, it just negates your cards from being destroyed. Uh, Boral Load. Um, as I've said in some of my other videos, I just prefer it to Boral Sword because you're allowed to steal your opponent's monsters. And especially in this deck, it's really good because then you can use your opponent's monsters for something like. Vampire Sucker or Avendred Savior. Um, access Code Talker. So, this is um, really, really good in this deck. Um, and I'm actually really, really happy that I looked at uh, the Crush Card cr Crush Cards um, deck version of this deck because um, so. Um, it just allows you to banish Link mon basically it's main effect, um, you can banish Link monsters from your graveyard to destroy cards your opponent controls, um, uh, so for the rest of their turn you cannot banish cards with that same attribute, um, to activate this effect of Axis Code Talker, so, um, it's really good, you just banish different attributes from your graveyard to destroy, 
um, cards your opponent controls. It also allows you, though, to um, attack, add attack to it um, equal to one of the cards, linked monsters that was used for its link summon. So um, it's really good with uh, Black Cluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, and the reason is um, basically because you can just go into Black Cluster Soldier and then bring out bring out Access Code Talker and um, Black Luster Soldier basically just allows another attribute um, for this card. So in this deck you have, um, let's see, one, two, you have uh, Earth, uh, Dark, Fire, um, Water, and yeah, so, so you have uh, like four attributes that you can banish off, so that's four potential pops, and that's that's really good. Um, Black Luster Soldier, uh, um, allows you to, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can activate one of these effects. It gains 1500 attack. It can make a second attack during the battle phase of the next turn. Banish a card on the field. Also, if it was Link Summoned using a level 7 or higher monster's material, your opponent cannot target with it with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Um, Nightmare Unicorn and Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Unicorn just allows you to um, send cards your opponent controls back into the deck, um, and Phoenix d allows you to destroy a spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Vampire Sucker allows you to special summon zombie monsters from um, your great your opponent's graveyard, and then if a zombie monster is special summoned from either graveyard, you're allowed to uh, draw a card. Um, Avendred uh, Savior. It, it's a, basically like a third. It's almost like a third copy of Frawling in that it allows you to um, pay multiples of 200 to... Okay, so during the damage calculation of this card battles, battles an opponent's monster quick effect, you can send a zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. The opponent's monster loses attack equal to the level of that monster sent to the graveyard times 200 until the end of the turn, so it can lose potentially 1600 attack. Uh, Crystron Halky Fibrax, it allows you to get him into uh, glow up bloom or Yuna Zombie, really pretty much glow up bloom, but sometimes if you really want to, Yuna Zombie. Um, after that, Pretty Planet Vertea Anaconda, it allows you to use um, Super Poly. And lastly, Link Rebo, because it allows you to, if you have like a really bricky hands, then you can normal glow up bloom and use Link Rebo on it to get one of your, um, one of your level 5 or higher. Uh, zombie type monsters. So that is kind of like the deck portion of the video and yeah I will see you guys in a second. So as you can see we've kind of already started started here but uh, this is what we drew so we're going to go ahead and activate zombie world and then we're going to normal solitaire and activate it to tribute itself to special summon Yuna zombie and then we're going to activate Tsuki no Ko's effect to special summon itself, and then activate this to send from the deck to the graveyard to um, increase by one. Yeah, increase by one. Um, and we are going to send uh, Mizuki. Um, and then we are going to synchro summon uh, Red Eyes. Activate Danger to special summon itself. And oh, we got to draw off that too. Um, Azuki effects, and we are going to special summon back solitaire. Wow, that is really unlucky. We've drawn all three solitaire. That is like, that is, that's, wow, okay. Um, and so this is kind of like the um, ending board that leaves you. So what does this gain you? Um, it allows you to, if your opponent special summons a monster from the graveyard, you get a draw a card, and Red Eyes uh, Zombie Necro Dragon allows you to um, it just gets really beefy if your opponent sends monsters to the graveyard. So that's kind of like the first combination. Um, let's go on to combo number two. Let's see, so this is going to be combo number two. So we're going to start off by ap activating Zombie World, and then we're going to activate Jackabolon to send um, Azuki to the graveyard and special summon itself. And then we're going to normal uh, Yuna Zombie, activate its effect to send from the graveyard to uh, increase by one. We are going to send... What should we send? Hmm. 
uh, glow bloom. We'll send glow bloom, and then we're going to activate glow bloom to special summon Baldurok from the deck. And um, yes, and then we're going to go into a vampire sucker. Uh, so what does this uh, board? Okay, well we can activate one more potential effect. Okay. Um, yes, and then vampire sucker will allow us to draw a card. So, where does this uh, board really uh, get you? So, um, I, I completely forgot about Mizuke. I blanked out on that. I apologize. Um, so, this board allows you to turn all of your opponent's monsters into zombie type monsters, and uh, for some of the decks, that's really good. And you'll see it in, across like all of these combinations that that's pretty pretty much the same. Zombie World is real realistically pretty much like the win condition, to, so to speak, for the deck. Um, but after that, um, after that one card, you have Doom King Baldurok that allows you to negate an effect and banish a monster from the field or graveyard. And then you also have Jack of Bowen, which allows you to special summon monsters, um, face, uh, um, special summon a zombie monster in either graveyard, um, which is really good if your opponent's about to like activate the effect of a monster in the graveyard, and then you can just chain Jack of Bowen and they don't have that monster in the graveyard anymore. And then after that happens, Vampire Sucker will allow you to draw another card. Um, so it, it's really a really pretty good setup from here um, in terms of, of like a controlling aspect. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like uh, combo number two, so to speak, or test hands, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be combo number three, and we're going to start off by activating uh, Allure of Darkness, and we're going to banish the Frawling from our hand. Then we're going to activate Foolish Burial, and we are going to send Necro World Banshee directly from our deck to the graveyard, and activate the Banshee to activate Zombie World directly from our deck. After that, we're going to Normal Kazuki, and activate its effect, and we're going to summon it to... Uh, send uh, Glow Bloom. Glow Bloom, Bloom is going to activate, and we're going to special summon Doom King Baldurok directly from our deck. Um, we're going to activate Nessie and discard Nessie um, to um, add to our hand Danger and Mothman. Mothman's effect is going to activate, and um, it's going to end up sending Mizuki. Mizuki's effect is going to activate. We're going to summon uh, danger Nessie back out to the field. Um, we're going to activate Mothman's effect for a second time and send the um, Yunuzabni to the graveyard. And so, yes, so that is going to be um, the end board for this particular um, scenario. Not very, it's not entirely a powerful end board, but it's pretty good. So you have uh, Zombie World just turning all of your opponent's monsters into uh, zombie-type monsters, so it locks them out of certain cards. Doom King Baldurok, uh, Baldurok is going to um, be able to special summon itself potentially every standby phase, and that is going to trigger the effect of Vampire Sucker, and it's going to banish uh, monsters from the field or grave and graveyards and negate the effects, so you potentially have, like, two negates or or more, depending on if you include uh, Zombie World. So, yeah, that is going to be the third and final combo. And yes. So yeah, that was the um, Zombie Deck Profile and Test Hands. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the um, like button below. Um, if you didn't, uh, you can hit the dislike button. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.